Hey everyone, Tamias here again. So uh, this time I'll be going over some of the notable two stars that are good um, on the initial release of the game. Uh, if you haven't checked out my three star quick breakdown as well as the reroll guide or how to reroll fast in under about three, four minutes, um, it's in my channel, so take a look. Uh, so two stars. So uh, what's so great about Princess Connect is that um, every character has the ability to go to five stars um, as well as six star later on. But uh, it's quite important to know that uh, a lot of the 2-star and 1-star units can beat the 3-star units. Um, but resources are very scarce in this game, uh, especially if you're free to play. So you must make sure that you're best investing in the, uh, the right unit. Um, so what I'll do is I'll break down some of the 2-stars uh, right now uh, on launch that are going to be worth the investment. Uh, whether to, um, for you to be pushing uh, maps, uh, progressing through story, or prepping for the uh, oncoming CB or uh, PvP if you're focused on that. So, um, you can see on my uh, account that I got a few two stars. So, first one is um, uh, Mitsuki. So, right now I'm just gonna go through some of the notable two stars. The other ones I won't talk about are usually either not ready uh, in terms of power levels right now on release or they'll get their upgrades later on. But uh, Mitsuki is quite good uh, in terms of being both a semi-PVP character with AoE defense break as well as a PVP character, sorry, PVE character for clan battle. So she has a skill um, which makes her um, cast a I think it's the Field of Thorns. Yeah, deploys a field that lowers physical defense. So it's an AOE uh, defense down. And we know how important defense down, uh, either physical or magical defense down, is very important in this game. Um, so having the AOE one definitely helps in terms of map pushing as well as PvP when you have units that can burst uh, a large amount of um, physical damage. So Mitsuki is great, uh, not so good potentially in terms of your initial investment if you have, um, because the, the initial map pushing is going to be a lot of support focus. Um, so Mitsuki is definitely a great to have in your arsenal, but uh, maybe don't dump all your resources uh, in the beginning. Um, quick review of Mimi. Um, Mimi, um, I think in the second clan battle I used her on uh, CN. But um, it was just because she was very fast to get to a 5-star with her coins. Um, but other than that, uh, she's not really spectacular. Um, so I won't talk too much about Mimi. Um, next is Suzuna. So Suzuna is definitely one of the better uh, PvE for map progression. Um, map progression units in the uh, initial launch. Especially her skill which allows her to 100% crit. Uh, which is really good for PvE initially. Um, she does probably the highest damage, burst damage, amongst all the uh, archers on release. Um, so if you have her, definitely invest in her. She's a great DPS for um, uh, for your story mode. And moving down, any other? So that's all the two stars I have currently. So I I did a tutorial in a 10 10x po after. Um, next we have um, Miyako. So Miyako, also known as Pudding, uh, Pudding Nano. Pudding is really, really, I wouldn't say OP, but um, very, very strong. So as the premier physical wall of this game, um, Pudding, once um, you get her to a five star, she is actually unbreakable if you just have a bunch of physical attackers. She does get melted by, you know, uh, magic defense shred and later on units that can uh, deal a large chunk of magic, but uh, a five star uh, Miyako in arena, unless you have a plan with um, magic burst, you're not going to be able to break through. So Miyako is really good. Uh, in terms of PvE, she's fantastic as well. Um, one of the premier tanks if you don't have any of these three star tanks ready, um, she can definitely carry you through. Um, <clears throat> after we have Yuki, so Yuki is actually a, a boy, so I think Yuki is the only boy character, playable character um, in this game. Um, Yuki, his specialty is um, he can blind the enemy as well as um, TP charge. So here is the blind skill uh, and this is the TP charge. So you can use him um, in a lot of the, um, the setups where you know, you're, you're feeding TP to a specific unit and that unit just goes crazy. A um, bit more arena focused, um, some uses in boss fights in clan battle but very rare when you need to blind the boss. 
Uh, next we have Kauri. So Kauri is probably the best uh, clan battle two-star unit we have in terms of physical DPS at the moment. Um, uh, I would say that um, Kauri definitely deals heavy damage and later on maybe in the second or third clan battle you're gonna have her four star or five star because there will, there'll be an event where you can get her shards for free um, you'll have her as your main tank um, because she, um, she has some lifesteal with uh, equipments later on and at four or five stars she is able to tank the boss uh, so Carly is really really good and definitely um, a good unit for uh, pushing through story as well uh, Eriko, um, Eriko really shines when she gets her um, unique equipment, um, just not right now I would say, she is a bit frail and without her um, high rank equip she doesn't even have lifesteal, um, but she does good damage so if you don't have any other choices she's fine to use. Uh, Shinobu is also decent, um, more of a PvE character, Shinobu has a union burst skill or her ultimate skill is to summon um, the skull I believe no sorry that's one of her second skills her skill uh, union burst is physical damage and lowers physical defense right the the skull you see here is a summonable um, I guess unit subunit um, that Shiori uh, casts as one of her skills and it's quite important because it, it can absorb a lot of the uh, the damage and sometimes aggro in uh, niche situations during clan battle um, Mahiru, right now she's just useless, I'm not going to talk too much about her. Um, Shiori is good, she's another premier um, bow user, um, similar to Suzuru. Um, she specializes in charging her TP really fast, so she keeps getting her union bursts off, and that stacks, I believe. So if we have a quick read, yeah, she boosts her own physical attack after she casts that. Um, and then her uh, her skill charges her TP so she gets to use more of these. So she's quite good. I would say when you're pushing through the map, if you have one of the bow users, use them. Um, they're going to be very helpful. Um, Chica. Chica's decent in terms of healer. Um, all healers kind of are not great com in comparison to um, Maho in the beginning because of, you know, AoE heal heals not doing enough compared to Maho's huge uh, single target heal. But later on, they'll, um, they'll definitely be a lot more um, useful in terms of, or at least the same amount of usefulness in terms of the healing output. Uh, Chica's special in the sense that um, she can summon, um, uh, she can summon a few. Uh, let me find the skill. If I recall correctly, she does summon a a fairy. Here we go. Yeah, so she summons a little fairy, uh, which similar to Shinobu's skill um, after the heal. Um, can tank some of the damage that's uh, from a potential clan, uh, clan war boss but um, not too special Chica in terms of heals right now until we get uh, more equips so Kuka um, Kuka is the premier so Miyako is the premier physical wall and then Kuka is the premier magical wall so initially without you know high stars and equips Kuka would just melt she's a worse tank than the one star Peko I would say. Um, but later on, uh, when you get her to 5 star and you can get from the coin shop, um, she'll be insanely, insanely strong. Um, match damage, it can essentially not break her. Um, and she also has a taunt, which is useful in against uh, teams such as the, uh, the Tamaki teams that, uh, that should be quite popular later on in Arena. But I wouldn't say if uh, Tukuka is your only tank, invest wisely. Um, if you got Miyako, definitely pick Miyako over her. Um, they're just better choices than a magic tank uh, right now in the initial story progression. So Tamaki. Um, Tamaki is a fantastic two-star unit that uh, shines in PvP, uh, but also in some PvE scenarios. Um, in PvE is because she can manipulate TP, so she actually drains the enemy TP. Um, and then that can cause in uh, clan battles the boss to miss a lot of their timings so they for example misses their uh, big skill against their uh, defense threat on your team um, so Tamaki is used in that sense um, in PvP um, I predict she's going to dominate just like she did for the Chinese arena meta initially um, she her skill essentially allows her to attack the highest magic attack 
unit. Uh, and what will happen is you'll see a group of tanks or healers protecting the Tamaki and Tamaki just pick off the uh, enemy spellcasters one by one um, and until you're left no with no damage and you time out in the, the arena. So Tamaki is definitely a fantastic unit. Uh, uh, maybe not so much initially for story pushing but uh, if you have her, congrats. Um, if we use unfortunately trash at the moment, not gonna talk too much. Um, and that's pretty much it uh, for two stars. I will do a one star um, because I think uh, one star units are often overlooked, but there are some very strong units uh, that we should discuss and uh, some you want to uh, star up as soon as possible.